Okay. <laughs> so apparently my stream just turned off. Love that for me. Um So I guess I'll just uh I don't know if I should restart what I was talking about or if I should just keep going. I wasn't really far into explaining um what I was doing, but it, that was a bit embarrassing cuz I was literally just like sitting there talking to myself for like 2 minutes. <clears throat> um but <laughs> Um, as I was saying, um, I use the TV effect for most of my effects to add, like, this glitchy effect, and I was just talking about how I mess around with the wave warp, uh, to change the look of the glitch. Anyways, <clears throat> so... For this particular SMMV, when I first heard the song, I was like, holy fuck, I don't want to animate this, but I do want to animate this. <laughs> so I already had kind of like this plot in my head before I started animating because I wanted it to be centered around some sort of obsession. Um, and I don't want to say that I kind of took personal emotions and put it into this because let's be honest every single animation of mine is like a vent like let's be so honest um but unfortunately when I'm like miserable that's when the creative juices start leaking out so it was a bit personal but I like to think that I kind of went off the rails and didn't just make it event for this one so pat on the back to me <laughs> anyways um i specifically wanted this like magenta color to be like really consistent and symbolic throughout the whole thing um so at the beginning you see it in the text um <laughs> fun fact about this I wonder if I can scrub through and find. Yeah, so fun fact about this text is that I misread the translation the first time. I didn't misread it for some reason. I think I just wrote the wrong word in because um, it says, like, I hate you, hate you, who's the pest now? And what I wrote at first that I sent to Yugo was, I hate you, hate you, who's the pest today? And she was like, girl, that is not the lyrics. And so I had to change it. But a little Easter egg is that right in this this one, um, it still says today, uh, <laughs> which is awful. But I was too lazy to change them all. And I could barely see this one anyway. So I was like, whatever. Anyways, we're going to move on. Um, I spent a really long time on the typography. Um, for this one, I wonder, I should actually show off, oh god, don't look at my files, don't look at my files, don't look at my files, um, where are they? Oh yeah, okay. So for each one of these, um, fuck, oh, Jesus, okay, F for each one of these little, uh, why can't I see the whole thing? How do I make this go down? <laughs> oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, what? it's fine. This is fine. Um, so for all of the social media things, I I made them all myself. <laughs> um. So I originally made this character to be the main character, but I looked at her and I was like, ooh, she looks a little too influ influ influency, uh, to be the main character who is, like, obsessing. So I was like, okay, I'll just make this one the influencer. <laughs> um, so fun fact, she was going to be the main character. Anyways, I sent a message to Yugo and I was like, 
what is like a name for this girl who's an influencer? And she told me, hey, she looks like a Hannah Banana. So this is Hannah Banana. Um, all of these things I had to type up by myself. It's really annoying. Um, we got the spin spin sin is just an inside joke to a Beyblade opening. Um, cause I literally won an Acrylian and I'm so funny. Um, so I had to make these all, I use fire alpaca, which I don't think anyone else in the community uses fire alpaca, but I haven't used anything else ever. So that's another fun fact. I wanted this sequence to be really fast, so I just put a bunch in and you get like the pops of magenta again and again. Um, originally without the contrast, fuck, I'm not even clicking the right thing. Everything was pretty mild, but I kind of wanted this like jarring feeling to it, so I added contrast to every single clip. Um, I was going to do something with like these hearts because I know that in Instagram liking things is like really no shit it's a prominent feature like why was I gonna say that but it's like I wanted to do something with it but I didn't really so they just kind of like flash on screen a bit um and I just left it because it was like the more stuff going on screen the merrier um and this typography that I did here um was kind of fun I don't know if it's like proper but I did it because it looks cool and Yugo copied it like when I was doing or when she did my uh closed captioning where um it goes sono this way and then sono down which is I thought I was pretty cool for that but <laughs> someone told me in the comments if it's just wrong um and you see me doing that ugly glitch effect all the time and then um i guess i'll go into these comps i apologize if i'm like super nasally right now i'm recovering from a cold um oh <laughs> and the way i animate animate is really m messy i'm sorry but basically I animated all my layers um, and stuff on the background um, and I think in this comp I added some wiggles and like some you can see me like positioning it around um, which is because I wanted it to feel like someone was holding the camera um, which I thought came out kind of natural, but it looks a bit jank in the final. But I think it also kind of looks good. So, whatevs. And then I had to make this stupid YouTube thing. Um, you can tell I was, like, running out of things to say because in, like, the majority of the captions, I'm just saying, like, slay, sponsor me, merch. Anyways, um... So that's that scene. The typography is like simple. I literally just like, uh, what's it called? Am I stupid? What's it called? Uh, radial wipe. <laughs> I just took like a box and radial wiped it around some text that's sliding down, and then I masked the text. Um in the box so that it wouldn't go above it but it's kind of, you can't you can't even really notice it so it's whatever um the scene was important to me because i really wanted to like i really wanted to give off this weird eerie obsessive look um so this is just like a still sprite honestly um but I put the video in her irises and this animation actually goes on for a little while, but put on half and see if I can play it. 
Yeah. They like, they're still moving by the time you can't see it. Because I thought that I would like have more time to show it, but then I didn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, it's just a soft light blue and then the ad. Oh, yeah, right. So I wanted to add some extra lighting to her face because she's in a dark room and she's staring at like this light source <laughs> which lucky for me she's just a still frame I could have put this on a moving thing but I am lazy so I probably wouldn't have but I just added a bit of a highlight onto her face and I do think it makes a, like all the difference like Taking it off and putting it back on, it looks boring without it, so I added that. And then, what else? I put it in her eyeballs. I changed her irises to be these, like, little soulless balls. And I think it makes this cleaner and easier to look at. And then, her... Where are her hands? Oh. I had to make... Oh. <laughs> I had to make, like, a bunch of uh, perspectives for this phone. Because it was, like, pretty... Fuck, what do I mean? Um, it was, like, a pretty prominent resource. Um, so I have one, two, three... I think I have four. The other one's in a different folder. But I had four perspectives of the phone. Um, I do... So I use After Effects in like <laughs> a really odd way. I do everything in one main composition. Um, and I basically go scene by scene. So... Since I'm too lazy to bring the audio um, into each pre-comp, I just do it in my main comp, and then when I'm finished a certain movement, I'll pre-comp that, and then once I'm done a certain movement in the background, I'll pre-comp that, and when the scene is all finished, I pre-comp everything together um, so that I can view it in the pre-comp in the main comp. And I know that people make like separate compositions, but I think I have... like. Um, What's the opposite of attachment issues? Because I'm too scared to like leave my main comp because it makes me feel like I won't be able to get back in. Even though I know I will be able to. So it's kind of like, I don't know. I'm a weirdo. I want an Acrylion TBH anyways. Um, and that's pretty much it for the scene actually. Just another blurry, glitchy effect that I added. Um... The scene was like, I'll be honest, the scene is just like a ripoff from my I don't want to know part where she chucks the phone. Um, and at first I was like, fuck, this is not the right comp. And at first, where am I? Oh my god. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Um, <laughs> I can't even find this comp. Oh, there it is. Anyways. At first, this was literally just hitting the wall, but it looked so boring and static when it hit the wall. So I made a break. And I know that's not like... Oh my god. Can you leave me alone? I know. Please. <laughs> Leave me alone, please. I do not speak Japanese. I'm being harassed. I'm being harassed so hard. Anyways, um, I originally wasn't going to have the phone break, but I made it break. And I know that if you break your phone, like she would probably be making a bigger deal about it. But apparently she's so obsessed that she is willing to break her phone. So I made that a, a thing. <sighs> Whatever. I'm just gonna ignore my chat for now. 
Um, this scene. Um, I remember, like years ago, I was watching one of Dez's streams, and she was talking about how you should set your your floor to 90 degrees in the x axis and so i did that like my whole life but this one i went a little crazy where i think this is literally oh wait for real yikes that's really embarrassing i'm like three off i thought it was a, a lot bigger but i guess it's not so i hope everyone can ignore what i just said um <laughs> but um yeah the scene is just like boring i don't know what to say about this one it's just like a she's just walking and um i think she walks too fast in this scene if i'm gonna be honest i wanted there to be like you could tell that she was walking, so I didn't just have, like, two frames of her walking. But I think she is walking a bit too fast now that I look back at it, but I'm just going to pretend like I don't care. Um, and you can tell that in this corner, um, the video doesn't line up with the phone because I'm stupid, and then this shadow also doesn't line up with the, the phone because um, I'm stupid. But I think that part's not my fault because I was, this is a new version of After Effects that I'm using. Um, and so when I go to do this, it like groups them, groups like the, what is this called? The cubes, the turning on 3D together. And then like it whacks shit up. So I don't know, Adobe, that wasn't a problem in my After Effects 2018. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know what to say about this scene. It's just boring. I added like a Gaussian blur to the. I made like a I made like a mask. Uh, if we go to my masks, this is the below. Wood, cause I wanted it to get gradually blurrier, cause I wanted her to be in the background and the phone to be in the foreground. So I made a mask and I feathered it and then I put the f the blur only on, the back one and I also lowered the brightness because apparently I'm just like awesome um that's pretty much it for that scene I'm trying to like analyze this but there's not really much to talk about if I'm gonna be honest um this scene she's out with her friends so I gave her a bit of a different look but you can't really tell because in the first scene she was just wearing pajamas anyway so what was the point anyways um, I had to, like, edit this stupid, like, umbrella. I think it was really ugly the first time I had it. I don't know where it is, but I'm not going to go find it. Um, I actually animated every single character. Oh, my God. Um, I would love to show you, but I can't because my After Effects is, like, the render time is, like, not very good. Um, but I animated every single character. I made all these characters in like five seconds, so they're ugly, but oh, and I'm gonna really analyze. I've got some characters in the background actually. This is um, my office worker from Black Sorrow that I didn't finish because <laughs> I'm never gonna finish that. Um, and then this is Hugo and I's character from Too Little Too Late. Oh god. I, oh god, I pressed space by accident. Anyways, um, I guess I'll go into this comp as well. It's kind of boring, like they're just like sitting there, but I wanted it to look like she was trying to do what the influencer was doing, you know, go out with her friends, have a good time, which is why she's like holding the same drink and like trying to get Instagram photos, I don't know. Um. Where am I? Oh. And then... Oh, Jesus. So... I had to edit this phone front view. And then this is like the hand, but I masked it. Because I'm awesome. <laughs> and then... Um, 
I had to resize a bunch of things. And also, I don't know if it's, like, that noticeable, but I added, like, those camera. You know when you, like, click on the camera screen and it, like, it, like, focuses on faces? I added that. It's really, like, a small detail, but I wonder if... I wonder if people appreciate the details. <laughs> Anyways, pose for the photo, and then I wanted it to quickly go into an Instagram photo. So I added some saturation to act as a filter. Um, not really much happens in this scene, so I'm just going to move on. This, oh my god. I wonder if I can find this, actually. This took me like a million years to write. Um, oh, don't look, don't look, don't look, okay. <laughs> you can see, like, how half of my files are literally just, like, in here. Like, <laughs> they're just in my downloads. One wrong move, and this whole MMV is just, like, gone. Anyways. So, we got, hello, I'm tired, 1200. Uh, I think I wrote that because I was tired. We got Mandy two eight three eight seven four. That was just my nickname with like a million letters. Um, Renee Amagi the best. Um, I don't know the hottest news. I literally made that up on the spot. I bet the hottest news is like a thing. Um, <laughs> Anne Hathaway. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Like, <laughs> I just like was writing the stupidest thing. Fun fact on Minion Lover. Um, I put this in like a. <laughs> a minion language <laughs> um, generator. <laughs> I don't remember what it says. I think it's like, you're the best. Like, we should totally hang out or something. And then I wrote Boto Pitted at the end because I think I'm really funny. And then um, Bart Simpson is because during this time, I was like, I had a homework assignment where I had to 3D model like Bart. <laughs> So, I don't know. That one doesn't even show up in the actual, like, <laughs> in the video, so whatever. Um, but basically, this is, like, an onslaught of nice messages. And then, um, fun fact, I think it was around here. Yeah, I did this wrong, and Hugo had to call my ass out for it. Because this is Kami, and I wrote... I put, I believe, Tsu in it, and so it just said, like, the stupidest shit, and then she told me to change it, which is, thanks for that, looks really good, because you helped, um, anyways, um, this scene is kind of fast, which I don't love, but I was running out of, like, space, I even animated, where am I, I even animated, um, this ugly character because like you can't even see him moving in the actual thing but I just felt like if I put a still image there I would hate myself so I put him in there um <laughs> I didn't I didn't know what to write here I'm gonna be honest I wanted to write like something a bit bit deeper um but I came up with you're not even that cute TBH because I feel like that's something like some incel on the internet would say. Um, so that's the best we get from me. Um, then this part is just filled with nonsense. I wanted to have like this close up of the thing in her eye because apparently I'm obsessed with putting stuff in people's eyes. And I've done this twice now in this animation in the last 10 seconds, but... It's whatever. It looks like kind of okay. Um, I <laughs> I also made a mistake here the very first time. Um, I cut off the middle part of this point that part. Uh, like I put it into. I cut it in the middle. Of <laughs> I cut it in the middle here. Um, because I wasn't really thinking, and I just saw, like, a space in between, and I, th I didn't go double-check the official translation, like, Romaji page, <laughs> and, um, animator Milky graciously pointed out my mistake here as well, but I did change it, so, 
Um, it's fine. This scene. Um, I wonder if I can. <laughs> I wonder if I can pull this off because I should show off the inspo for this. I remember someone, <laughs> someone on my, I think it was Averka who commented and was like, I really like that stage part. And I was like, oh yeah, like it was inspired by something that I never released publicly. So I'm glad I got to use it. Um, guys, I'm a big fat liar because <laughs> I did upload it and it's on my channel publicly. So I'm really sorry for lying, <laughs> Averka, but, um, I did. Anyways, um, like it's literally this one. Oh, good heavens. What's going on? Okay. Um, it was inspired by this scene where he's on a stage and there's a bunch of puppets staring at him. Um, and there's another scene after where he's like directly looking at them. Oh my god. I'm so nasally. Anyways, um, it's like kind of like, oh, like this is what's going on. What am I saying? It's like, oh, we're staring at you. Like I wanted to make it feel tense, you know. Um, hello. Where am I? Oh god. Um, so I added all these eyes, and I literally just added these eyes from going into like Maple Sim and choosing a random face and just taking the eyes from it. Um, but I. <coughs> Sorry. I also added a glow effect to make it a bit more prominent. Um, because honestly, it's like kind of ugly without it. Um, but this is what it looks like without the black background. Um, I edited it so that there were a couple front faces. And then, um, this floor I had to warp um to give it kind of like a fisheye look because i wanted it to be a bit scary um and then for the character i just did my usual vignette and then i added a inner shadow to act as a rim light <clears throat> and for the typography here I put it on dancing dissolve so it has that cool kind of dissolving effect as it comes in and out which I really like um, this is a scene where oh guys I worked really hard on this scene only to realize I made a mistake anyways so she's basically putting on her jacket um, I don't know if anyone actually noticed this because it's kind of subtle and it just kind of looks like she's like, I don't know. If you're not watching it over and over again, I would understand if you didn't see it, but I did spend a lot of time on this part, but my mistake was that her shirt is pink, not red, because I took this off of Maple Sim, just like the shirt, and I realized after that it's not supposed to be red, it's supposed to be pink, so yippee ki -yay. that's wrong. Um... I, small detail, I made her eyes like kind of like blank here because I was like, oh, she's not at, she's not in public, which means, <laughs> she's not in public, which means she is not herself or she's like, she can be vulnerable and depressed at home. Anyways, um, <laughs> moving on. This is actually a background I used for for Black Sorrow, but again, I don't know if I'm ever going to finish that, so I guess it's just doomed. Um, for each one of the the ish parts, um, they're different each time. Where is it? I wanted them to get progressively more intense, so where am I? So this one is small and blurry and just kind of there. It's not really an issue yet. Um, this one is coming more blaringly obvious that it's there and it's like, woo woo, 
and then you get to the final one, which is literally just, like, kind of scary to look at. Honestly, I think I should have made this one, like, pink or something, because, or, like, covered the whole screen to give more of a warning vibe, but I didn't, and it looks like a zebra, so I guess that's just my life, and I can't do anything about it now. Um... I actually, this typography that I did, I just duplicated it three times. I wasn't really sure if I was gonna keep it. Um, I did it at the very end of animating the whole thing, so it was kind of just like a... I'll just pop it in and see how it looks, but I actually do like the way it looks. Because with the dancing dissolve, it is quite sexy. So I'm glad I kept it. Fun fact, in this background, literally every single character is me, except for this one, which was made by Milky. That's me. That's me. That's me. Uh, that's actually Yuko, though, so not every single one is me. Just the majority. Uh, and then... This is just a... Ra these were random characters I made. I just took them straight on Maple Sim and like edited them in. Oh my god! Fun fact about this character. Thought I might go into this just because it's a pet peeve of mine. Where this character's hair. Oh, I missed a pixel. This character's hair like shoots out this way for some reason in the original, and it makes me so angry. So I got rid of that part. Um, because it's like so ugly, but. I think it looks better now. Anyways. Um, I'll go into this because there's some light. Where am I? I'll go into this because there's a lot of lighting in this one. Which is a little interesting, I might say. I like lighting. I don't actually, but I'm going to keep saying it until I believe it. So I have my characters. Um, I'll just get rid of all those. This is what it looks like before I start adding lighting. I, they already have like their rim lights on, but I'm not gonna take it off because it takes a little longer. Um, so I have a red add for the light in the background. Um, then on top of that, I have a random light coming from here. Cause I assume like if you're in a bar or a club, there's like a bunch of different lights, but this bar was not really giving me much. So I had to make it up myself, you know? And then I have a soft light. Surprisingly, I used a lot of soft lights in this one. I don't usually do that. Um, but I did this time because usually soft light kind of gives like this weird, this weird like fuzzy brightness that I don't like. But for some reason with the darker colors, it was kind of slaying. So I kept using it. Um... I put over like a purple hard light because a multiply layer was too saturated and or too dark and then an overlay layer was too contrasted so I used a hard light instead and then a lighten layer just to tone down the shadows a bit um, and another add layer to add another light source and then I put this on top to amplify that and then at the end of it I upped the contrast and down the brightness of this comp so without it it's like what without it it's like kind of bright and fuzzy but by amping it it looks better and then I believe I turned the saturation up by like a minuscule amount yeah by three wow really awesome and needed anyways um can't really see these scenes because they go by so fast but it's basically she thinks these two girls are like shit talking her so she points like she calls them out and they're like what the fuck what did we do and then her person that she's there with is like oh what's happening and then they get into a fight um you can't see her beat up yet because it literally this is after her making her first move but yeah, and she's being held back. I wanted to, I don't know. I could have done this part better, I think, but I won't think about it. <laughs> this part, <laughs> this 
part is a bit silly because I kind of just like added this soju bottle on top of the background at the end because I was like, um, I need everyone to know she's drunk. And so I added that and then, guys, I'm really sorry. I know I don't have many viewers, but I really have to pee. Um, I peed before streaming, so I thought I'd be fine, but my bladder apparently is like the size of a teaspoon, so I'll be right back. Okay, that, um, what the flip, okay. I don't really remember what I was talking about, but I'm going to look at this and see if I can remember. Um, oh yeah, the, wait, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, oh my god, Ezra's in my chat. Hello, Ezra in my chat. Um, I did indeed go piss, girl. Um, for this positioning of her moving across the screen, I actually edited it so that she s looked like she stumbles a bit to give off the feeling that she's, like, drunk. It looks a bit ugly, like, like, if unintentional, this would look ugly, but there was an intention behind it, so I hope people don't think it looks ugly, like, it was, <laughs> it was supposed to look like she was drunk, <laughs> like, I hope people got that, anyways, um, just a, another boring scene, these are my lightings, it's just, like, whatever, um, this scene, ugh. This is the full background. I cropped it off a bit, which makes me a bit sad because it looks a bit good the way it is, but whatever. Um, I basically just took these clothes, placed it. I made this background really quickly. Um, because you can only see like a quarter of it anyways. Mm. This is literally just like a solid scaled down to act as like a light source. I was going to add like some shadows moving by it that that would affect like this sh this add layer or screen layer. Um but I didn't cuz that's a lot more work. 
and frankly, I'm lazy. So, this layer, I think, could have been nicer, but I was having ish. I was having ishes at this point. Um, and I didn't want to deal with them, so I just left it as is. And I should have, what I should have done was I should have put these on top, added their own type of layer, and then I should have added a rim light to these layers, and then added a shadow going outwards this way. But I didn't, and we have to live with our consequences. So it just looks meh. And then, um, lo and behold, the, the elephant in the SMMV. Um, I'm gonna try to find the background for this, cause I actually... Am I blind? Am I blind? Um, not there. Um, yeah, okay. Not there. I might be slow. Just the... Wait, it might be in my... That's, <laughs> that's enough that folding. Okay. Yeah, okay. This is the background that I used for this scene. Hello, can you like go down? Whatever. It's simple. It's really simple. I just used solids and like tiles for this whole thing i don't even think the perspective is entirely correct but i was like you know what half of it's gonna be covered anyway so who cares um it's also just like <laughs> looking back at it it's kind of ugly S some parts of it is kind of ugly as in these accessories being different pixels and fuzziness and then like, this is literally just... Ugh, anyways. It's not... <laughs> whatever. I don't care that much. I care a little bit, but I try not to care that much. Um, because in the end, it looks kind of good here. Just thank god I upped the contrast. This sink? I think this is the top part of a shower resource that I cut. And you can tell that I cut it because it looks bad. But I'm hoping that everyone is looking over here at her face and not there <laughs> so that they won't notice um her body is pretty i changed it up uh... okay um so her body is uh this is what she looks like outside the mirror I think this pose is actually kind of nice because it looks like she's distributing her weight kind of naturally, but you can't see the whole thing, and that's fine, I guess. I want I she's got a mix of hairs here, so this hair is her top hair, and this is her hair from the beginning, and she has a single earring, and she has a black eye, and. A bruise here, and she has mascara streaming down her face, but I gave her some flyaways. I don't know. Uh, I just, like, put her on the mirror and masked it. Um, and then I believe here... This is her front body. It's just one of the swings, but I edited i moved over her head a couple of pixels so it looked like she was more in a three-quarter view than a back view um and then i gave her a hand um which i just sprayed and then you can't even see it i think you can kind of see it actually where am i yeah you can kind of see it but it's whatever the lip sync is a bit off if I could go back in time and line it up a bit better, I would. I think I animated her lip sync on ones this time, just because the way she was singing was a bit fast. The 
Kamipoina, and then, where am I? And then, yeah, a lot of these are on ones. Meh, oh well. And then I wanted this scene to be pretty prominent, that she was like smiling at herself in the mirror. But I didn't know how to show it because I ran out of music. And I also like didn't know how to show it because she was lip syncing throughout that entire end scene. So you wouldn't have even really been able to see it, but whatever. It's like the scene will just have to do. Um, and I was like speed running at that point. But yeah, that is how I made Godish. I went into as much detail as I could, but if anyone wants to see other scenes in more detail, I am happy to go into them. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty much it. And I don't know how long this took me, maybe over the course of like a couple days, but... I don't know. I kind of like grinded the shit out of this one. But <clears throat> then I uploaded it and I watched it too many times and now I don't really like looking at it. I wonder if I can open... Ooh. I don't actually know how many things I have available. Because my initial thought was that I would go through other MMVs. But, like, I don't know if I deleted things. If I did, that's a bit awkward. Oh, Spring Thief. Is this going to tell me I'm missing, like, a hundred files? That's not Spring Thief. What? Gross. One file is missing. I wonder what that is. It's probably the cherry blossom overlay. <laughs> What's that? Oh! Okay. So I'm missing like that first chunk because I put in like the mp4 of it but I'll be honest I don't think I'm ever gonna finish this I got like over a minute in but I don't think I'll finish it I don't love the storyline as much as I did back when I made it and I don't know. Like, if people really want me to finish it, I'll put in the effort, but... For now, it's just a bit ugly, in my opinion. Um, I'll open up Black Sorrow, because... That's also one I had in the works. What else did I also have in the works? Oh! What's it called? A little happiness or something? Ugh! My mind is too big for what I can do. Is this it? Wait, I'll open this after Black Sorrow. If I have Black Sorrow. Because I actually don't see it. Um, what the flip? Oh, there it is. Okay. No missing files. That's what I like to see. I do really want to animate this one because this is based off of like my OCs that I really like, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like this one looks really cool, but like this is an epic scene inspired by the silent voice scene where he tries to kill himself. This is like parallels. Um, 
Yeah, but I basically just had to spread all this. I don't know. I do want to finish this one, but... Yeah. <laughs> like, you gotta leave me alone, bruh. <laughs> like, I'll kill myself. <laughs> oh my god. Like, what's your problem? <laughs> Can you send me a photo of that, though? That's kind of funny. <laughs> I swear, something is off about him. I think it's because I made his body so big because I sprayed this from scratch. So he looks like a normally sized person, but with a maple story shaped head. Like, the rest of him... Like, this looks normal because his body is, like, smaller. But this one looks fucking stupid. <laughs> um, I wonder... People probably know the storyline to this, right? Yeah, I don't know. I wonder... See, I can't even figure out what half these are because I... Call them like the stupidest names. My go to is da 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 da. It's awful. Um, <clears throat> I think this is a little happiness, which was my second MV in the works. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> stupid. Stupid user Vilky just sent me the photo. <laughs> it looks so stupid. It's literally just called Ball. Um, <clears throat> this is a little happiness. I got a minute and 20 seconds into this one as well. I'm just one in a trillion. I should just render what I have of these and put it into one fat video and call it an MMV and call it the end of the day. Because I don't think I'm going to finish these. This one, I kind of like how it looks, I guess. What is this? Oh, wait, what's that? Oh. Which one was this? Uh-oh. Like, the scenery is pretty, the character is cute, the story is, like, simple. Except for, oh, fun fact, I was, I hired, like, a voice actor for this, and he gave me, like, I wonder if I can find it. Um. I wonder if I play this, if you'll be able to hear it. Like, I made someone voice act for this, and then uh, I asked for a second line from him, where he said it in, like, a really excited, playful tone, and I paid him, and he never gave me the voice line, and it's true that I told him, like, oh, take your time, I'm not in a rush, because I don't even know if I'll finish this, but guys, I sent this in April, it's just a voice line. Like, all he had to do was sit down and press record and say one line of dialogue. And it's been since April. So, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I'm getting that line. Unless I DM him again, but whatever. Um... <laughs> Maybe I'll pick this one up again. I think the main reason was just because I didn't like the way my animation looked, but... Whatever. <laughs> um, but look how cute this is. Like, she sees her old lover in a child. Oh, that sounds. Pause. Pause. That didn't come out the way I wanted it to. Um, 
and then I spreaded this hospital bed not bed just this room it's kind of nice the scene is really pretty actually um I don't know what's this up oh me when I copy <laughs> metronome for the millionth time um yeah, I didn't like this scene because the way she was moving in her wheelchair was like a bit ugly looking. Um I just had her like scooching <laughs> along without moving anything at first. And my initial thought was like, god damn, that is ugly. So I was like, uh, I should put in the effort to make her actually move her wheels manually. And so that's what I did here. Like, I changed it so that she was, like, oh god, which one do I click? Not that one. This one? Yeah. So I had, <laughs> god, I had her, like, physically, let it render, let it render, let it render. Physically moving the wheels before she moved in her chair. But for some reason, I looked at this and I also thought that looked ugly. So, oh god, what happened there? Oh, that's a look. Um, so I don't know if I'm just the worst person ever, or if it doesn't look good. I don't know. Um, it's lagging so bad. I don't know, but maybe one day I'll finish this, and they have their little anime moment where they look at each other. Sugoi. And this is supposed to be him saving her from, like, a flying ball, but I obviously have done nothing about that yet. Um, but the fact that I've gotten so far into this makes me want to just pick it up again, but... Yeah, like what Yuko said. Erm, um, this shit rank. I did that a bit. Um, I don't know if you can really see it because I don't know if I made it move enough. I think in... She's moving here. Yeah. So... In this one, I made her do the individual pushes, and then in this one, I had a position of her moving, like... I didn't move the again, I should probably do, but she does move a little in between each push. It just doesn't look good <laughs> but if I do pick this up again I will work on this on this this scene cause good lord um scene is like silly cause I animated a whole ass like soccer game in the background like playing soccer this field is so ugly But yeah, like, genuinely, they're just, like, playing soccer in the background. Ooh, I smell try-hard. But yeah, if I ever get bored, maybe... What did I just press? Oh. If I ever get bored, perhaps I will pick this up again. But it won't be today. <laughs> and it won't be tomorrow. <laughs> or the day after that. I know the title of this, like, video is How I Made Goddish and Animating, but I don't know if I actually want to animate. So I'm gonna, if I'm gonna animate, I have to think a little hard. Spotify is giving me nothing. Oh, I keep hitting my mic. I'm so sorry. 
Um, yeah, you're probably right. I was worried that I would, she'd be going too fast. But if I pick it up, I will make her move more. And see if it improves. Um. Just like, I don't even know what to animate. <laughs> Ezra pops in for the yearly comment and then vanishes off the face of the earth again. Um... God. God. I don't even like. I got nothing. <laughs> I don't even want to animate. I'm bored. Milky, are you still in my chat? You still there? I'm bored. I think I'm just gonna end my stream because I basically <laughs> I basically talked about what I wanted to talk about. There's nothing else to talk about now and I don't feel like animating so it's just doomed.